Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I am going to review all of the foundations that I am using at the moment. So I will be mentioning the details about them and my own experience so far. So let's start. So this first foundation, or actually this is a tinted sunscreen and it is from uh, La Roche Posay and it is from the line Anthelios uh, So as I mentioned, this is a tinted sunscreen and it has a UVB and UVA protection uh, this is um, antioxidant and mineral um, sunscreen. Uh, so this is a tinted sunscreen and I bought this uh, in the summer um, because I wanted just to combine uh, one product and um, not to use uh, sunscreen and then you know foundation or BB cream so in this case I wanted to try this and uh, La Roche Posay is a very good brand I like it very much I have other products um, that I use from them so I wanted to try this as well I'm not sure if this is available everywhere um, I bought this on Amazon and I don't see um, a German instruction here um, but uh, it could be that it is available um, in some countries in Europe and Amazon should have it um, but anyhow, my experience with this is uh, very good um, it is uh, very skin-like and uh, very good uh, sun protection, have no complaints there. And uh, the only thing that I would say that is less positive about this is the fact that it is very, very light. So my skin is already relatively, um, relatively light. And uh, this, um, actually I wouldn't say that this is too light for my skin, I think this is just too pink for my skin. So my skin uh, leans towards the cool, uh, the cool tone, but uh, it is still uh, mostly uh, neutral, I would say. Um, and my, the skin on my neck is a bit too uh, a bit lighter than the skin on my face or some parts of my face um, yes so in this case I don't think that it's a problem of it being too light I think it's just that the tone doesn't match my skin perfectly uh, to be honest um, all of the foundations that I have here today don't match my uh, skin tone perfectly. It is unfortunate. Um, I'm still on the on the look uh, for my uh, perfect foundation, uh, being that texture-wise, performance and uh, tone. Uh, but um, nothing is perfect. And, and it is what it is. Uh, so in this case, I would recommend to use it, um, I mean, mostly for people who have uh, oily skin, uh, to use it maybe during the winter month. And uh, it is because this is uh, a bit more uh, hydrating and um, glowy uh, looking on your skin uh, so I would say that for someone who uh, has an oily skin uh, 
as myself I do have oily skin in my uh, t-zone uh, so I do think that this is okay for the winter and even for the summer if you like to powder your skin you can do that and I used it um, um, anyway and it worked well so this is the Anthelios from La Roche Posay. And uh, the next uh, foundation or uh, BB cream, I will start with the uh, lighter versions. Uh, so BB cream, CC cream, uh, tinted, uh, tinted moisturizers, tinted sunscreens, and then go, I will go into the foundations. Uh, but this one is the Sika cleaning BB cream from Purito so to be honest this is my favorite foundation um, of all time so far of course and I, I really like it because it looks like skin it uh, protects my skin from the uh, sun damage it has sunscreen as well SPF of 38 the other one has the SPF of 50 plus and, uh, and yes yeah, so this also includes a Sika which is a calming ingredient for your skin and uh, overall I think that this is also uh, has also been my most used uh, foundation BB cream in a uh, few last years uh, this has been reformulated the packaging is different now I know that there were a few things about Purita going on around the internet about their sunscreens and stuff like that but um, I mean I don't use this because uh, this has uh, SPF uh, I use um, um, sunscreen even when I uh, use this type of uh, coverage um, products uh, but anyhow I, I really like this product uh, it really looks like skin uh, if you don't like foundations that uh, have that uh, bit more makeup -y look uh, actually all foundations or most of them uh, look like uh, I have makeup on my face and it is normal I guess I mean it is makeup that I have on my face so <laughs> uh, how could I expect uh, it looking as anything else but I would say that uh, this uh, BB cream looks the most as uh, the most skin-like, and this is that is why it is my favorite. Uh, it is a glowy for, uh, product. It has a medium medium coverage, I would say. Even though this is a BB cream, it does have enough coverage to uh, cover any redness or imperfections. Um, I would say that the previous product had a cover light to medium coverage as well uh, but um, again this is a uh, fragrance free and um, and yes uh, enough coverage the only downside is this is a bit too dark for me uh, so uh, Again, none of the foundations match me, but I don't mind mixing this uh, with um, with the slightly uh, slightly lighter foundation and a bit more yellowy as well. Uh, this is darker uh, than my skin, and it also uh, leans to the cool side. Um, so it is a bit more pink than uh, my neutral skin needs and uh, that is the only downside and of course uh, the negative part of this this is a Korean brand and it only has um, very few shades available 
Uh, so I have the lightest shade here, so the shade 21. And um, I, I guess there are more, uh, uh, if not um, if not one, maximum two shades at the moment. Uh, I do know that Korean market has been um, internationalized lately and uh, hopefully uh, the brands will expand uh, the range that they have uh, including this this one so I would say that this is one of my favorites and um, another BB cream tinted moisturizer if you will from Purito Going through the Korean brands, I will go to my previous favorite uh, foundation. So before I found the Purito BB Cream, this product was my favorite foundation. And it is from Nisha. This is a BB Cream as well. Um, so this is a Korean brand, uh, uh, again, I do think that they have a bit more shades available. Uh, this Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream is very popular. You can find this at Douglas, at Sephora and uh, other uh, stores. Uh, so, so yes, I do think that they are a bit more uh, popular on the... Uh, western uh, side of the world as well uh, so the shades are uh, are a bit more allowing so I have the lightest shade here which is 13 and it does have an SPF of 42 PA3 plus and as I mentioned this was my favorite foundation before I found the Purito one and for the same reason so it looks like the skin it has the sun protection and uh, it does have a light to medium coverage uh, so uh, there's actually no downsides to this uh, except the the lasting so this is not very long lasting which is expected i mean this is a bb cream we cannot expect a bb cream to last yes a whole day long 24 hours like some foundations claim to last 48 hours i, I one day i would like to see a person who wears the foundation for 48 hours i mean Sometimes we do, you know, like stay awake for uh, for that time when it's necessary. But like making that claim for the foundation, like who in their sane mind is going to wear a foundation on their skin for 48 hours? I cannot imagine what would that would do to the skin in the first place. But oh well. So the downside of this is again the lasting power and uh, also the coverage. It, it is, this is a bit lighter than the uh, Purito one uh, in terms of coverage. Uh, so your skin will um, peek through uh, a bit more if you have any imperfections. Uh, I, I mean my skin is relatively clean. Although I do have some scarring uh, going on, usually I break, when I have any breakouts is along my hairline and jawline. So, um, so yes, but I can use a concealer and it is still fine. And, I mean, I don't really mind if any of my scar uh, scarring is uh, can be seen. Um, I mean, this is just my skin. It's normal to uh, for any skin to have issues. I mean, that'd be great if the skin was perfect all time, all day long, the whole year, you know, like all life. Um, but it's okay. 
So this is my uh, previous holy grail, still very loved. I use this so easy to apply, I can just apply it with my hands and I'm good to go with an SPF if I'm in a hurry and I want to look a bit alive, a uh, bit more alive, you know, than usual, then I will use this. Uh, so I still buy it. Uh, I think this is my most uh, purchased foundation ever. I have uh, even uh, bought this for my mother and one of my aunts as well. And both of them love it. So this is uh, Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. And next product, um, uh, this is a foundation, but I would say that I take it as a um, tinted moisturizer or in the same line as the previous uh, three products. And this is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Uh, so this is relatively new uh, and this is my first time purchasing it. I bought it because I saw a few of the YouTubers and uh, beauty YouTubers reviewing this and um, uh, uh, one of my uh, favorite beauty YouTubers, Taylor, um, uh, she reviewed this. And actually, she was also the one who uh, reviewed the Purito foundation that I love so much now. So I appreciate the, uh, her reviews very much because uh, they seem to be honest and also they are in line with my own skin. Uh, so I always say this uh, in my videos when I'm mentioning products that I like. Uh, these products, if I say that I like them, I like them uh, from my personal experience. And um, I mean, again, I like my foundation and my skin to look like skin. I don't mind my imperfections to, um, you know, to come through and to shine through, you know, here they have their own uh, place to shine on my face and uh, I don't like the foundations that make my skin look dead um, and with no life whatsoever. If I wanted my skin to look like that, I would not use any foundation. <laughs> uh, when I don't wear any makeup, people tend to um, tend to ask me if everything's okay, if, you know. If I'm feeling well and stuff like that, I do have quite dark circles um, underneath my eyes and my skin is very pale and it is also very translucent almost, so you can see the veins and stuff like that. Uh, so yes, if I wanted to look that, I would not use the foundation. So the the... The goal for me when I'm using a foundation is to use to uh, use this product that makes my skin look luminous, uh, as if uh, it was just you know hydrated, uh, with with a very good skincare, and you know just uh, being healthy and young and all of that, all the good stuff, you know. Uh, so, uh, so yes, I would say that that is my preference towards the look on my skin and I understand that people have different preferences. Uh, so that's why um, I would recommend to just go with the preference that you have for your skin. Uh, don't just uh, blindly follow what other people are recommending. And... Uh, uh, if you can try anything before buying, then that is a good way to go as well. So, I bought this foundation B 
because Taylor uh, has reviewed it and she mentioned that it was quite good and uh, you know I, I bought it to try it because it is so inexpensive um, I mean not that is that is a good reason to buy anything just because it's cheap um, Essence is a relatively good brand uh, I don't have uh, many products from Essence I think I have a gloss, a lip gloss um, Yes, um, I think it's a very good lip gloss I don't use it very frequently but um, I think it's a very good quality lip gloss and you know it's still very cheap uh, so not only expensive things can be good and and yes this is a uh, this is actually a good foundation uh, it does have a hyaluronic acid and aloe vera and um, I don't think that this is very long lasting but it does have a good coverage and not only that but uh, also this I would say that this is the closest to my skin tone that I've ever gotten uh, so this is a shade uh, 030 uh, neutral ivory and uh, neutral again this is neutral is my uh, true tone and I would say that this foundation is the closest to my uh, true skin tone and it is long lasting as I mentioned uh, I would not say that it is the best looking or most skin looking but uh, it is pretty good looking so it is still luminous and gives your skin that extra uh, hydration and um, it stays on the skin does a good job overall so I've been using this for a few months now I think I bought this back in December and uh, so so yes it uh, I'm using this for um, two months now and I would say that I will continue using it um, not only because it's a good product but also because it's such a good match to my skin so this is the essence pretty natural hydrating foundation and um, the last one of CC creams BB creams you know all of them jazz is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC cream Uh, this is a smaller uh, smaller uh, size uh, package I think it has uh, okay it does say that it has a, a 0 0.4 uh, fluid ounces or 12 milliliters and um, I think that even though this is a CC cream, I think that this is a this is the foundation uh, that has the most coverage. I mean, it does say that it is color correcting, full coverage green, and I would agree. Uh, this is a very full coverage. Uh, I use this uh, only when my skin has. Uh, many problematic areas you know so uh, let's say that I have had a few breakouts on my skin and I want to cover them and maybe I have an event or you know somewhere important I have to be which happens very rarely but it does still happen and when I want to look um, extra um, extra perfect you know on the skin I will use this uh, CC cream but I don't use this uh, very frequently I do think that it looks heavy on the skin even though this is you know your skin but better I mean okay but um, it is a bit more coverage and more coverage for me 
that tends to be always uh, looking more makeupy. I want, don't want to say cakey, just the word that people use when your makeup looks a bit too much, but um, it is a good looking foundation, I can't complain about it. And um, as I mentioned, uh, I use this for special occasions, so if you need extra coverage, you can use this and it doesn't dry your skin, it is not matte, anything like that. So, uh, so yes, it does have a SPF as well of 50 UVB protection and it is anti-aging apparently so it must include some ingredients that help with that as well and I've, I have this, I had this uh, I had a episode where I was breaking out a bit uh, more on my skin uh, especially on my cheeks so I used this, I bought this then, I can't remember when it was exactly, but I bought this then and I was surprised with the coverage, so I still have it, I still use it. Actually, I don't think I have that much left, so there's a, there's a limit here, I think, where the foundation was um, standing, so... I've used quite a bit already and I don't know if I'll repurchase this uh, afterwards but um, I will consider it because it's, it's a very good full coverage foundation. So this would be IT Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. So, a few of the other light coverage uh, products that I use on my skin would be cushion foundation. And I have mentioned a few Korean products already. And uh, cushion foundations, uh, they did originate it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in South Korea. And I've been using them for a very long time. I, I can't recall how many uh, cushion foundations I have tried. It's so easy to use and, I mean, so convenient as well. Uh, so, I still use them. Uh, I take this with me anytime I need to leave the house and um, if I will need to check uh, how I look uh, throughout the day uh, so I'll take the compact uh, with me so the one the first one that I have here is from Misha and uh, this one is Misha Magic Cushion Cover Lasting uh, so, I've used a different uh, Misha cushion before and again, the BB cream is also from Misha, the one that I mentioned, but uh, this one is the last one that I bought, this is the lightest shade again. As with uh, BB creams, unfortunately, uh, cushions have the same stories from Korean brands, uh, which is the fact that they don't have many, um, uh, many variations on the uh, range. Uh, so this is the lightest shade, uh, number uh, 21, um, I don't think that they have more than two shades. Uh, if if it is, then maybe it has been updated lately. Um, but yes, unfortunately, there are only two shades, 21 and 23. 21 being the lightest. And again, as all the cushion foundations, this has a pad. And, uh, and then the, the foundation is in the cushion inside. So it has the mirror as well, which is so convenient. Again, I take this with me uh, to retouch anything that I need throughout the day and just to see how I look as well. 
and I would say that uh, Misha is one of my re most repurchased um, uh, cushion foundations uh, because they do um, uh, cushion foundations very well. And they are long lasting with an average um, coverage as well. All of them are luminous. So I don't again I don't ma I don't use matte foundations, cushions, anything that has the word matte, I don't use it. Uh, this is not a very long lasting product, but it's a very good product none nonetheless. Um, and it's so easy to retouch. I can just uh, you know take the puff and then just... Uh, touch it, uh, you know, retouch my face everywhere I need and and I'm good to go. Uh, so uh, I think that this one is a very light coverage, uh, but it is buildable, uh, so that's why it is uh, called that. It is cover lasting, so the coverage itself, uh, even though it is not, uh, you know, uh, full coverage, the coverage can be um, applied, you know, built, and uh, it is, uh, it lasts for a few hours, I would say. So this is from Misha Magic Cushion Foundation. And another cushion foundation that I have here is from Moonshot. So this one is has a very nice packaging. I don't want to blind you, but it is holographic. Yes, so uh, this is a cushion foundation from um, Moonshot and this is uh, micro uh, setting fit cushion. Uh, so I bought this because uh, I saw a Korean um, um, beauty influencer, uh, beauty YouTuber, let's say, uh, recommending this foundation. She said that it was a very long lasting foundation because even though it is not um, it is not matte, but it is setting. So there's a, a structure to it that sets, it dries, and therefore makes the the cushion itself not to move around, you know, and uh, stay stay put on your skin for a bit longer. And this is true, actually. This is a very good uh, coverage cushion foundation, and it does set. So I use this uh, throughout the whole summer because, uh, I mean, it's just perfect. I can just put it in my bag if I need to go out, and I can retouch it anytime I need. And not only that, with the face mask, you know, uh, it worked very well because it didn't transfer uh, as much as, you know, most of the other foundations do. Uh, so, so yes, I was very satisfied with this, with this cushion foundation. Um, it is a bit more um, uh, on the lighter shade. Um, again, this is shade 21. Um, actually, this is shade 101. So it could be that they have a bit more shades available uh, than usually, uh, but yes, um, Moonshot uh, Micro uh, micro Setting Cushion um, has been one of my favorites for uh, the summer month. So this is another cushion. And uh, the next foundation that I have here is from Maybelline, and it is uh, Dream Urban Cover. 
I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. Urban urbanization. Okay. So uh, this is a full coverage, lightweight uh, makeup. It has an SPF of 15 and uh, something again uh, anti pollution as well. And I have here the shade uh, 095, a fair porcelain. I bought this because of the another uh, beauty YouTuber. Uh, uh, the, uh, her name is Tati. I'm sure she is very well known. And, um, and yes, she reviewed this uh, foundation and uh, I saw a few other videos about this and um, I decided to buy it because I saw that it was available in the, um, in the store, in the drugstore and it's not very expensive. Again, not the correct reason to try it, but um, the the reviews were very uh, good so i wanted to try it and it is a very good foundation it is uh, relatively um, long lasting it has a good coverage i wouldn't say that this has a higher coverage than the uh, it cosmetics uh, cc cream but the coverage is still there i use this during the autumn um and winter uh pre-pandemic so it, I, I do think that it is out of um yes so it's 12 months so i do think that i should throw this away it has been some time that i'm not using this and uh the only downside i would say this makes my skin a bit more greasy than usual um, so it doesn't help my, uh, you know, my oils that usually show up on the, um, on the chin part. So it's not very long lasting in terms of, um, in terms of oily skin. Uh, so if you have oily, uh, parts on your skin, so maybe, uh, you could use the powder as I don't use the powder. I see the effects of of it, but either way, I do think this is a very good foundation for the price. Um, definitely would recommend. So this is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, and the next foundation is also from the drugstore, and this is Max Factor. Miracle Second Skin Hybrid Foundation. So, I bought this because I have never tried anything from Max Factor actually. I think that I had a foundation, uh, foundation, no, a mascara from there, um, but I mean, it was a very long time ago. I think I was like in, in high school or university. I can't remember. But uh, you know, I just was passing by the the uh, the makeup section in the drugstore, and I checked the um, uh, the brand Max Factor, and I saw this uh, this foundation. Uh, so uh, it says that is it is a hybrid foundation uh, because it includes uh, you know the hydrating protecting and renewing ingredients uh, so it also contains coconut milk and a pre probiotic complex um, yes uh, so um, I would say that um, it is a very good match for me as well. So next to the Essence Foundation, I think this one is the closest match. It is a bit more on the yellowy side, but I use this to match the other foundations that are a bit more pink. But I would say that as the name indicates, second skin, this looks very skin-like. 
I don't remember having any downsides with this foundation. I've used it uh, for a long time during this summer and in combination with the uh, Purito. Uh, so I use the combination of that uh, those two uh, because I do think that they uh, look very good together. Again, this one is a bit more yellow tone and light that one is a bit more pink tone and a bit darker so the combination of both is just just amazing and this is lightweight and it doesn't last for long hours but it's still very very good foundation and for the price again i would recommend definitely for people who didn't haven't tried this brand to give it a a look and maybe you know consider um if you would like to to try it so this is the max factor miracle second skin hydrating foundation so the next one is uh one of my um not latest but uh, this have been um, this has been one of the um, foundations that I bought uh, last and um, I don't I don't know if I want to say that I regret it but I was considering to buy again the Dior forever um, uh, foundation that foundation used to be my favorite foundation a few years ago uh, but then they changed the packaging and it seems like the formulation was also different so i didn't like it that much anymore i've i've given one away uh, to one of my friends because I really didn't like how it looked with my skin. It, it didn't look the same as the previous one. And then I considered buying it again. But then I saw uh, reviews on this uh, foundation. And I bought this one instead. So this is uh, Laura Mercier uh, Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. So, you can see that I have used, I mean, for the amount of foundations that I have, I do think that I've used enough. And um, when I said that I almost regret it, um, regret to buy this, um, um, I mean, I would say that for the price, I was, I was expecting a bit more. Uh, this is not a cheap foundation in any way. Uh, uh, again, doesn't match my skin very well. Uh, doesn't last for that long. It is a luminous foundation, so I I don't expect to to la it to last, you know, for twelve or anything hours. But after two hours, I was seeing some separation uh, on my um, on my chin. Uh, something that I always give a benefit of doubt is uh, when I use a foundation when I when my skin doesn't look well so it's not the foundation's fault that you know my skin doesn't is not doing well and all of that uh, so I'm not going to say that this is a bad foundation but for the price again I always compare the performance to the price itself I do think that it would be nice if a um, high-end foundation would uh, perform uh, a bit better than a uh, few maybe cheaper foundations. But either way, I do think that it, this is still a very good foundation. I think that people who like the luminous look would still like this foundation if they uh, powder their face um maybe that would help uh but for me this didn't work 
uh, unfortunately. I do still mix this with few other foundations, um, especially the more yellow ones. Again, this is a bit too pink for my uh, for my skin color. Uh, but, I mean, it's okay. I bought it. Not sure if I'm going to use it all. Maybe I will give it away uh, to someone else. <laughs> that happens. Uh, or I would throw it away. I have thrown away so many foundations that I was disappointed with. And they were just standing there. And, um, you know, the, the, the expiration date just past and I, if I'm not using it then you know I'll just throw it away which is unfortunate because it's so much money that goes to waste but um, it is what it is uh, so yes uh, I think that this is the the first foundation here in the list that I am presenting today that it is a bit disappointing but it's just my it's just my perspective, but yes, a bit more disappointing regarding the price and the performance altogether. So this is the Laura, Merc uh, Laura Mercier um, Flawless Lumiere Ra Radiance. Oh my god, I'm butchering this name. <laughs> Let's try this again. So Laura Mercier Flores, a Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. We made it. And uh, we are up to the last two foundations and uh, the combination that I use today. So these are the foundation that you see on my skin. And uh, that would be the first one is from L'Oreal uh, Paris Perfect Match Nude uh, Foundation. So this is the serum foundation and it does have 1% pure uh, hyaluronic acid. So this have been uh, this has been very popular on the internet as well. I've seen few YouTubers that I watch uh, reviewing this and actually liking it very much. So again, I bought it uh, as well. I have here the shade uh, 0 0.52, uh, very light. So this is the lightest shade available here in Germany. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a good foundation. It's a very light foundation, uh, very light coverage and a luminous foundation. I do think that it gives my face a luminous look uh, but for a bit more coverage i do um, use a different foundation that i will mention next uh, that i like very much as well and it has a bit more coverage uh, but this is a great foundation i would say i mean in terms of luminosity if you have a good skin or even if you don't have a good skin just um, using this as a serum you can you know just um, uh, put it with your hands on your face and apply it uh, easily everywhere and uh, you will be good to go if you have a few imperfections that you would like to hide maybe use a concealer I do use a concealer to hide my uh, dark circles, you know, so it's okay. And and yes, I like this foundation. I, this is a new foundation. A lot of reviews about it online. And, uh, and yes, I would say that um, as I say on my videos that taking, to take everything with a grain of salt, uh, I would say that I do that with all the videos that I watch because people are being sponsored for uh, working with the brands and sometimes people just hype up the product that just the brand just wants to have all of that popularity. Sometimes the product is really good and sometimes the product 
uh, results in being not good uh, but that is also the our own experience you know as i mentioned um we have different expectations on how our skin how we want our skin to look and and anything else uh how we want the the foundation to perform uh, so all of that combined uh, I do think that uh, everything that is good for one person could be not working for another so uh, again I, I do review a few of the um, recommendations and then I bought this as well because this was available in drugstore and it is uh, it resulted in in being a good purchase so this is another good foundation that i have here from l'oreal perfect match nude serum foundation and the combination of uh foundations that I use today on myself and I actually use this foundation to mix it with many others that I have and and yes this is one of my favorite foundations as well long time and this is uh, Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation So Shiseido is a is a brand that is available everywhere but is a Japanese brand and I do think that Japanese foundations are really good. Uh, Shiseido has other foundations that I have used a different sink or skin I remember a few years ago that I used to use uh, but this sink or screen self refreshing is a whole other story uh, so this foundation is a very good foundation because it has enough coverage by itself it has a very good selection of um, uh, tones that you can choose from uh, so it is oil free it does have SPF and it doesn't have um, uh, it does have that um, uh, self-refreshing single skin uh, function. So self-refreshing, as you may know, foundations, while they sit on your skin, they tend to crease maybe in the smile lines, maybe in your um, lines uh, around your eyes maybe if you have any lines you know on your forehead but especially the smile lines you know so uh, i would say that this is the best foundation for for that so if you see your skin setting into the lines uh, throughout the day and there's nothing you can do with it even if you powder and stuff like that i would definitely recommend this foundation because i mean there is a technology to it that is that as they say self-refreshing so it seems like the foundation um, has that quality that always makes it look like you just apply it so most foundations look good when you just apply it, you know, unless it's a terrible foundation, of course, but uh, things happen. Uh, in any case, I would say that this is a long lasting because of that uh, self refreshing uh, ability that this foundation has. And I mix this foundation with the uh, L'Oreal new uh, Nude. A serum foundation and I think that the combination and the coverage of both of them is an amazing uh, mix so it's long-lasting it's self-refreshing but it has that luminous look that the nude foundation gives so the company I, I think that this foundation is good to mix with any foundation if you want to make it uh, look a bit better you know and long-lasting because of the self-refreshing 
so i don't have any complaints whatsoever i think that there's a luminous version of this foundation now that i want to try uh, so i'm yet to buy that i'm already thinking if i want to buy uh, the uh, the self-refreshing from she said or the luminous one or again the forever foundation from dior uh, that seems to be uh, having a very good reviews at the moment i think the formulation was um, remade again so i'm still considering that as as you can see from the whole foundations that I have mentioned, I have more than 10 foundations that I currently um, use. So it's not like I need another foundation, you know, especially because I don't go out of my, my house that much. But anyway, I would say that this is my second place foundation, uh, right after the Purito, very close. Uh, second because I love this foundation very much so this is Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation so those were the foundations that I was going to mention and that I am using at the moment and um, I would say that um, all of them are uh, relatively good foundations. I don't have many complaints. I don't want to complain too much about any uh, product unless it has made my skin do something, you know, that I didn't want <laughs> it to do. But either way, um, those are the foundations that I currently have and use or, um, you know, just uh, go through the year using. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. And if you like this content, give it a like as well i appreciate very much uh, all your feedback I'll leave a comment if you'd like so i'll see you next time and enjoy your time thank you and take care bye bye